Okay, we finally settled into Overwatch 2. We've been escorting payloads, peeling tanks, testing Mela, and getting the occasional Reaper room in the name of reaching Grandmaster. The one thing we haven't been doing, aside from feeding, is lagging. But if lag is something that you're struggling with, don't stress. We'll get you right. Here at Naduma, we've come up with a range of networking tips and ways to use our own Duma OS to fully optimize your connection. So make sure you watch right till the end. Before we jump in, it's worth mentioning that we won't be covering frame rate issues in this vid but we do have a couple of simple tips to help with input lag. That said, let's get to making your connection the best it can be. First off, let's start with something simple. Sometimes lag isn't even caused by your network. It's nice when things aren't your fault, right? Occasionally, lag can be entirely down to server issues. If your connection is usually stable, but you're getting a sudden influx of lag, there's a good chance that server-side problems could be the culprit. Now, unfortunately, the problem here is that there's no direct fix for this. It's simply a waiting game for server issues to be fixed before your connection is stable again. In the meantime though, sites like Down Detector are dedicated to checking the server status for all kinds of games, and Overwatch 2 is no different. On top of that, in the case of Overwatch 2, Blizzard also provides server maintenance and issue updates on a dedicated Twitter page. We'll put a link for all of these sites in the description. If the servers are all good, it means there's a problem closer to home, so let's start digging into the kind of things that could be holding your own network back. When it comes to your own network, the first port of call is the type of connection you use. Whether you're playing on a console or PC, it doesn't really matter. A wired Ethernet connection will always be king for the best online gaming experience. There's a reason competitive gaming uses LAN for most of its tournaments, and it's not tradition. With Wi-Fi, the data being sent to and from your router has to travel through walls and doors to reach a console or PC, which can drastically reduce connection strength and lead to packet loss. On the other hand, wired connections provide a direct and stable connection without interference, which is crucial when it comes to stuff like gaming. A common misconception is that you need fast internet to get the best connection in game, but stability is way more important. We have a video that covers why high speed internet isn't needed for gaming, so you should check it out with the card on screen now, or down in the description again. Sometimes though, distance can be an issue when it comes to wires. Lag sucks, but so does tripping over a cable and falling down a flight of stairs. So I'm told. Anyway, a popular well-loved workaround for this comes in the form of power line adapters. This piece of tech carries a wide connection across your home's existing electrical wiring, so no matter the distance, you'll always have a solid connection. You know, while we're on the topic of wired connections, it's worth mentioning that the same rule goes for peripherals like your mouse and keyboard. The input lag from wireless keyboards and mice is different from connection lag, but it will still make the game feel unresponsive and sluggish. Not really ideal when it's high noon. We'll stick to network lag for now, but if your network seems fine and your wireless keyboard just feels that bit too slow, you might need to make the switch to wired. All right, this is where things get a bit more sweaty. If you're a Duma OS user, you don't need to worry about this tip as UPnP is enabled by default, which solves this problem. If you still haven't transcended to Doom OS for reasons beyond our understanding, we can still help. By opening your NAT type, you'll connect to as many people as possible while queuing up for a game. While this doesn't directly reduce lag, the ability to connect to more users means there's more lobbies available, which may include matches with better ping. Here's how. See, matchmaking in most games is based around three factors. Your skill level, some of you will notice as SBMM, how long you've waited for a game, and your location in relation to other players and the server. If you're restricted by NAT type, you may end up waiting a long time to find a game. If the game is struggling to find a nearby lobby at your skill level, and you've been waiting a long time for a match, your location will become less important and you'll be put into a high distance, high ping game. If you're interested in learning more about that kind of stuff, you can check out our write-up on open NAT types in our support center. Once again, we'll link it in the description. Alternatively, there are plenty of step-by-step -step guides on YouTube. The ports that Overwatch 2 use are on screen right now. Now it's time to tell you how we can help you with those issues. Duma OS has a range of features that completely crush lag. If you take Overwatch seriously, or you just seriously hate lag, and you want to take control of what lobbies you play in, then Duma OS is a must. Every lag fix guide out there will tell you to select the correct region for your location in battle.net for the best connection. The problem with this though is that there's multiple servers you can connect to in one region. For example, if you live in the US, you should select the Americas region, but you could be allocated an East or a West Coast server when you queue up for a game. Depending on where you live in America, the difference in ping to each coast could vary massively. This is where the geofilter feature comes in. By creating a filter region around your home location, the filter blocks connections to servers outside of it, keeping games close and your ping low. If you want to get even more specific, you can use polygon mode to isolate certain servers. It's especially useful if you're in the US, but you want to avoid the East Coast server. Just filter around specific US servers and then you exclude it. Filtering servers is great, but it's not much help if you can't see which servers are there in the first place. But don't worry, we've got that covered too. Ping heat map is another feature of Duma OS that shows every server location for your favorite games as well as your ping to each one. 
We regularly post server location graphics on our Twitter page too, so you know, it's probably worth checking us a follow. You might already know this, but gaming on a busy network full of big downloads or video streams can cause lag, which sucks. If you've got Doom OS, there's no need to sweat it though. Our QoS or quality of service feature can ensure your gaming sessions stay smooth without being interrupted by the entire house streaming the latest from Netflix. By limiting the total bandwidth that can be used on your network, you can create a fast lane with the excess for gaming. Setting congestion control to auto detect will allow you to use your network's full capacity and only limiting it when you start gaming. You know how your home uses your network, so by deciding how much bandwidth each activity or device in your home gets, you have full control over your network's priorities, ensuring nothing comes between you and a chain feed of Widowmaker snipes. Alright, hopefully these tips have improved your ping. Whether you're a Duma OS user or not, you should experience the benefit from any of the tips that we've covered. If you're still not using Duma OS, and as a NetDuma employee, I'm inclined to ask, why not? And you want to find out more about our powerful features, you can find out how to take control of your network on our website. We also cover all kinds of different games on this channel, as well as provide useful information for Doom OS users and gamers in general on our Twitter page. For the last time this video, they're in the description below. If you want Doom OS for yourself, the best way to get it is through our very own R2 Gaming Router. Since you're the best type of person who watches videos to the end and makes our YouTube stats look great, you can use the code OW2VID at checkout for 5% off your order as a thank you, but it's between you and me though, so like, don't tell anyone else. Unless, like, they want to buy an R2, then it's cool. Till next time.